Apple just released a new version of Logic, Logic Pro 11. So today's video, I'm going to share with you the new feature and also I will share my thought and how I will use this feature to use it for my music production. If you're new here, my name is Tyler. I'm a lo-fi and ambient music producer with 13 million streams on Spotify. So let's dive in. So the first new feature is in the section player, they now have a keyboard player, bass player, and drummer. So basically, this is a AI generates it player, something like they will generate some ideas for you. So let's try the keyboard player. So you just press one button and then they will generate some pattern for you. Also, they will base on your key selection right here. So if you want to change, like you want to go to minor, and then you will see the chord automatically will change it for you. So you can still got the chord progression right here. So you will know what the chord they are playing. And also you got a lot of things right here. You can twist it. So maybe you want more compacts. Um, not very intensive. So and then you can also adjust for the hand position to make it the range more wider. And, and the voicing, you can also choose it different. And also you want maybe a bit strange, more healing feelings. And also you can have different pattern right here. And also you can just twist this knob then they will generate another melody for you and also you got a lot of preset right here you can try i think this is very cool for you to just get some inspiration to get start making music maybe some people they don't have a lot of knowledge on the music theory but they still can make music and then when you find it this pattern that you like it then you can just switch it to the midi region and then you will got a midi file right here so the cool thing is when you switch it to the midi you can write another new melody on top or maybe twist it a bit to make it more sounds you need sounds more your style also you can try to use another sounds on logic and try different instrument to make it sounds different just drag and drop and then you got a new sounds Just add some plugins to make it more like lo-fi. Then you already got a piano sounds. So after that, because we got a chord progressions right here, right? Then you know I love to add some like pad sounds. So and then we can very easy to use the chord strip to play around under the chord. So after that, we can try to add a bass sounds right. So the interface is almost the same greatest thing is they will automatically to follow your chord and then they will play it together basically they are very similar 
you can just play around to make it different, to make the more humanized, more feeling, dynamic, something like that. Maybe you want more complexity because sometimes I'm not a bass player. I don't know how to play the rhythm, right? And then you can just try different rhythm to make it more professional sounds. Let's try to add the drums. So in these three knobs here, we can try to make some percussions first. So basically the feature is the same with the Mac version because I, I'm i afraid to upgrade my Mac version and also I don't have space to upgrade. So I just upgrade on my iPad and everything is very similar. So for the percussions, I really really like it because it's sounding so good. So you can try the intensities, complexities, almost all the same. And also you can try to add something that you want. Different groove pattern. More swing. Add some trumps. really like this because sometimes when you're using some shaker you will notice not very realistic when you make some pattern of the shaker and this one will be make it more very human feelings and also you got a lot of things you can to twist it and also you got some preset and you can try everything and also the same you can choose everything in the instrument patches so let's see what the sounds can come up with got a lot of inspiration in this because I can put a different sample inside and then we, they can recreate some rhythm for me and then I can just bounce in place and maybe export as a wave file for future using. This is super super cool. And I just tried that maybe you will have some sample you like it. So I just choose it in the sample library, but you can use your sample. Try to use some sample and then they will also recreate some very crazy sounds for you. <laughs> that is super fun. So I think you can use more creativity to use this function. And I think you will got a lot of inspiration. Right, so let's go to the drum. Maybe we want some pop songwriter drums. So let's see what sounds like. Let's try some preset. Also, you can try different patterns. So you already got some nice 
start of porn of your song so you can just try to create another layers layers but also they got a new plugins is the chroma growth it is something like a uh, distortion um just try to add some more characters to your sounds so in this drum sounds this is the b4 and then You will feel like more characters, more punchy, and then you can have different model. So also you can use the bypass to bypass which frequency you don't want and high cut, low cut, something like that. So another function is the stem splitter. You can just drag and drop your audio into your logic and then just press one key. They will automatically to split the vocal, drums, other instrument for you. So if you like to make some remix, you just want the vocal and you make another layers. This is a very cool function and you don't need to have an extra plugins. So for me, I feel like this function can help us to learn from other producer. So I got my track right here and then I just split it for you. Have a listen. So this is one of my song when there's me and you and then you just press it. Stem splitter and then they will automatically to split this. But this is not a vocal track. So I just split this. So now you can hear the drums. I think it is very similar to my original. So this is the bass sounds. But seems the background they still got some melodies and then for the other instrument still got some percussion sounds right here so maybe they still can't to split it very cleanly but you got the idea so maybe on the vocal size will be more better so you can try it yourself so I'm not sure will I use this function or not, but I really like the chord progressions function because sometimes I just want to learn different chord progressions to make my music sounds more professional. And I think this is a cool way to learn from just random and then I can try to listen. Oh, I like this chord progression and then I will use it my style to expand with different melodies on top and also i really like the percussions function and also the bass because i don't know how to play the bass sometimes i'm just use a very simple bass note and now i will have a chance to make the bass more professional so i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment below do you exciting for this logic 11 and will you upgrade your logic to 11 to try this new feature let me know in the comment below and see you in the next one